Hello everybody. I just wanted to share with you um, uh, how to how to make a thing for electrolysis. Um, electrolysis is used for iron is a good good reason to use it. Um, nothing else really seems to take off the the scale and stuff on iron. Um, really nasty coins. Electrolysis works good on and um, pretty much any metal it'll work and. I use it, um, I've used it in the past and it actually, the one I, I built before wasn't that good and I just recently did it again. I had some, some nails I wanted to clean up, some really cool looking nails and had a few coins that were really in bad shape and things like that. And I just wanted to share with you those who have never done it, it's really simple to do, it's very easy. And what I've got here is an old charger and, and I'm not even sure what it was but it was actually um the end was messed up it was no good and it's something that that's obsolete anyhow but what i did is it's a 500 milliamp charger which seems to work really good and all i did was take the ends and split them and then put alligator clips on them and it's very simple to do i got these i think at um the local hardware store and all you do is strip it back strip back the um the sleeve off the wire, run it through there, run it through the screw, round the screw, and, and tighten it down. Very simple to do. Anybody can do that. And then what you do, you do each side. Here's here's the other side I did. Same thing. Uh, nothing hard. Um, I've got a container here, and you can use any kind of plastic container. Um, I, I'm pretty sure you can use glass. And all I do is fill that up with water. And I, I connect one of my alligator clips to a coin, whatever I'm wanting to clean, a nail, whatever. And the other one, what I did is I took this fork and didn't match any of my other forks. And uh, I just bent it and I stick it in there like that. And then I put one, one alligator clip on there like that. Put the other one on my, on my uh, coin or whatever I'm going to clean. And I stick it down in there in the water. Um, add, sa add salt before you do it to the water. And um, when you first make one, you're not going to know which one hooks up to what. But what you want, you want bubbles to come off of, of the object you're wanting to clean. Or it, you'll see bubbles um, at least on the, the um, alligator clip. And that will tell you you've got it hooked up right. I mean, this is very simple to use. Uh, cleans those really stubborn coins and and, and um, iron artifacts. Uh, very simple to do. Like I said, you can use any kind of container, any kind of plastic, or and I believe glass. And um, very safe to do. What I do is is whatever I'm putting in there. I usually run about every five minutes. I'll check it and just kind of determine how it's coming. You know, sometimes it takes five minutes. Sometimes. Uh, it takes a couple hours depending on what you're cleaning up and um, the only thing I will say I, I, copper coins I've tried a couple uh, wheat old wheat pennies that aren't didn't have any value or anything just see how it works on copper and copper doesn't seem to clean up right uh, it seems like it'll leave some of it still really dirty and, and then the copper you'll see parts of the coin that are really clean copper which you really want, wouldn't want to do to most coins um, I just wanted to share that with you guys. I hope you find it useful. It's very easy to do and I highly recommend it for those really, really hard things to clean that nothing else seems to work. Thanks for watching.